All right, I'm curious. Thanks for stopping in. Oh shit, I looked away. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome to the stream. First time this year, and it's already March. I know. Uh, yeah. How's it going, everyone? Good to see you all here. Hello, Ritu, Paraffin, and Arcturus Deluxe. Good to see you all. Uh, let's see. Paraffin has been playing Horizon Zero Dawn. Ritu's been playing Baldur's Gate 2. And Arcturus has been playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Cool. I, I, I played Final Fantasy VII a little bit, but I could never I, I could never get into JRPGs because of the grind. And there's too much fucking text. It's like, let me play the game. But actually, oh uh, yeah, I don't know. Different games for different peeps, people. I didn't say I didn't say peeps. I don't talk like that. Damn it, you're you're hallucinating. Yeah, I need to play Horizon Zero Dawn. That'd be cool. So yeah, I'm doing good, Paraffin. How are you? Uh, I've been working on fire weapons today, and made some good progress. And yeah, uh, so have a look at the the the. I've got this 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 is how I'm doing things now. What do you think? Like a nice windowed setup. It's got a bit of blank space down there, but that's where the notifications go. So they don't get over the screen. And yeah, might be alright. Anyway, it looks like uh, this space station I've, 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 I was on last night is a bit more on fire than it was last time I saw it. Um, I think there's some like aliens or something blowing stuff up. I haven't really been paying attention. Uh... Remakes have no grind. Ooh, well that's good. Does that have voice acting for the for the text uh, for the for the story, or is it just uh, um, is it just uh, is it still text? Because it's just it's so much fucking reading. If I wanted to read, I'd read a book, and I don't read a book because I'm a fucking idiot. Wow, 147 gig, 140 gigabytes. Wow. Yeah, I, I've never encountered the Thargoids in this game. Because this game is is weird. It's like let's get into it. Um, yeah. It's because like I feel like you have to do outside of game stuff to know what to do. Like, it's a wiki game, you know. Like Minecraft used to be before you could look at the, uh, you know, when it was an alpha, when you couldn't figure out what the crafting recipes were except by looking at the damn uh, wiki. I, already, I don't read books. I already read one. Exactly. Yeah, who needs that? So yeah, I'm in Starbug here. Uh, I have a new graphics card, and it's running like shit still. This, I don't think this game is greatly optimized. Can I disembark? Because I've noticed that the system requirements for this game are vastly different. Hello, Tomo123. Welcome in. And the first bot. Is there a bot? Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you, uh... Somebody for I didn't see who did that. So yeah, I've, I still haven't turned the settings up that much because. Um, thank you. Oh, it's Arcturus. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, because the, it, it seems to run great in space, but when you get on the planet, I mean on the when you disembark like this, it starts to run like shit. Well, it seems to be okay right now. And maybe I'll turn the set settings up. So I've got a 4060 now. An MSI 4060. Just a regular 4060. No TI, no super, no extra duper. Um, basically, I've got it so I can play Baldur's Gate 3. Because that's what I want to do. Um, I don't know yet if I'll stream that. Because that will take fucking forever. And I want to find out if I can actually commit to streaming on it. Yes, and this is a... Um, I keep wanting to point that way because that's the direction it is for me. But there, this whole thing, this is this is indeed what the fuck just happened. So, and you can see my frames per second at the top left. It's not great. It's down to 40, 39. Better than it was. You what, mate? Unsavory people. You know what I mean? Fucking hell. Need a weapon upgrading? I've got you covered. I've got a spaceship. Why would I need a gun? It's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, Eternity Gate 3, yeah. If you don't mind doing a little light trespassing, I could have a job for you. Are you telling me to do a crime? Just like here, I'm gonna go tell, I'm gonna go tell on you. So yeah, this is running alright, I suppose. 
Apparently there's a new spaceship they're releasing at some point for the first time in ages. Ships, just ask. Okay, tell me about your ships. We've got a wide range of ships available. No rush. Oh, it just brings up this. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there, there's the stupidly big, which I destroyed at the end of my last... Uh, <laughs> my last uh, Elite Dangerous stream. Uh, I'm not... Yeah. Good afternoon, ZX Specky. Welcome in. Oh, yeah, the Titan attacks. Yeah. I don't know how to fight... Thargoids? No Can you tell me how to fight Thargoids? I could fight Thargoids if you tell me how, because, like, you got to use special Guardian weapons and shit, and you've got to, like, do weird quests and, like, the whole Guardian stuff. None of it, I couldn't find any of it in-game. It's all just stuff I found out about by watching videos. So, how are you supposed to do it? I just want to do asteroid mining, at least for this stream. Wait, can I please get in the lift? Get into the lift. Get out of the lift. It's all that you're getting fed. Yeah, I, I think it might be. I, I so, so, my power supply might not be up up to it. I'm thinking maybe I should replace my power supply because it does this thing where it's running fine and then it just kind of stops and then catches up. Does that seem like a kind of um, a power supply thingy? Because I've, I've, I've got a Ryzen 5 as well, and I don't think that should be the bottleneck. Not much. And 16 gigabytes of RAM. So I'm not sure what else it could be. But, um, yeah, what do you think? What voltage is my PSU? Good question. Uh, I think it's like 700. Is that enough? I think it's 700. I'm not going to open it up right now, because that's a bad idea. Um, yeah, so let's uh, let's surface. Um, oops. Uh, I just want to look outside the ship. There we are. Uh, free camera. Right, this place doesn't look too fucked up. There's no fire. Why is there an evacuation? What's the big deal? Hey. All right, let's just uh, let's just do the old launch. Uh. Are you ready for Python 2? <laughs> Python 2? This is getting too silly. Um, Cybernoo, hello! Welcome in. Yeah, this, ga this game... This game is kind of good, but also kind of slow and grindy, and what the fuck is wrong with this autopilot? Yeah, after last stream's debacle, where I um, smashed everything up... Oh. Uh, yeah, where I, where I, I got stuck in the <laughs> in the in the launch, what's it? And uh, smashed up my beautiful new anaconda. Yeah, I, I think I heard about the Python two. That's like the new ship, right? I've got a, a f just scan a, detected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the old uh, Python one here, which I've coloured green because it's Starbug. Not, it's, it's not really Starbug, but it's as close as you get. It's a mining ship. You know what I mean? And of course I have Holly as the... Uh, whatchamacallit? The... Space boy. The the, the computer computer boy. Is... Uh, no, that's not where I want to go. Where did I want to go? I wanted to go to... Algol. There it is. So there's some pristine metallic rings here. So let's go, let's go mining. Let's go mining my own business, you know what I mean? Yay. Uh, yeah, did I miss anything in chat? I'm a bit out of practice. With the, uh, there, just did it. You see that? It just dipped. That's one reason I don't necessarily want to do combat. Um, hold and catch up could be overheating. So, I, my GPU is currently at 50 degrees C. So, I've got a little... Oh, 45. Uh, so I don't think it's overheating. Um, according to this, I've got this thing on the uh, on the old stream deck. There, yeah, and the sound cuts out too. It's really weird. I did the whole um, like clean installation. Like I used what is that called? D D D something d d to completely clear out the old driver files, put in the new ones. So yeah, could be a drive. Yeah, I, th I I suppose it could be. 
like I got the um, the studio drivers, the the, the more stable version. So that's, you know. And this isn't a new game, so I don't see. I don't know. It could just be this game. I don't think it's been doing it in other games. Who knows? Maybe I should just reinstall Windows. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Did I miss any chat? Don't think so. But yes, this whole UI thing, this these windows, these are um, UT, uh, Unreal Tournament uh, graphics, which I've reused from when I streamed Unreal Tournament a while back. It's just ED loading in the stuff while you're walking. No, but like... Okay, it's loading in. Oh, okay. So this is, this is installed on an SSD. So, and it didn't used to do that. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just... Hey, what's happening? Okay. That was weird. Okay. This is the place that I want to be mining. There it is. There's, uh... Oops. Pristine rings. Uh, Alright, use the mouse. Alright, don't use the mouse. There we are. There we go. If you move all your system files into one sleek folder, it should make things more efficient. Oh yeah, press Alt F4 for for game mode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you completely format your Windows, there won't be any stuttering. I mean, it's a it's it's been on. This is this this Windows Windows installation has been on for a really long time. Probably one of the longer. Um, Longer durations I've had a single. Uh, I've not gone without a, a, a reinstallation. Windows 3.11. What? Oh man, the future is here, and it's floppy disks. Also, I could potentially run this game in VR now. That would be cool. I can look around like this with my actual face. Obviously, that's not great for streaming for streaming, but. But work groups? Oh man! I love work groups. Remember them? Okay. Unidentified signal it doesn't who cares. Hey look, there's there's a ship called Red Dwarf here. Where is it? It was right there. There. There's a fleet carrier called Red Dwarf around here, which is really funny. Uh Can I scan this thing? How do I there. Uh, okay. No no no, that's not right. That's not what I want. I've forgotten how to play this game. Um, discovery? No. How do you do the, the thing where you scan the rings? Um, there we are. Surface scanner. Okay. Was there a Windows 3.11 not for work groups? Oh, yeah. Good question. Uh, can I hit the rings, please? This is... I remember... Okay, I had trouble with this before. I can't seem to hit the rings with this damn thing. Oh, there we go. Ring. I want to hit the rings. Is that working? It missed anyway. It says ring, and I hit... I didn't get it. Come on. Hit my ring. <laughs> it's a sign. What is... Oh, the red dwarf, yeah. Thing is, I f see, I forget context so quickly that uh, it helps to, 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 to let me know what the hell was even spoken about. I'm not going to go to Platinum Hotspot because there's always some asshole hanging around there at the hotspots. I'm just going to go to a random bit. Actually, wait. I should check which part of the ring is actually the metallic part. Because there could be several rings. Let's see. Uh, are there several rings? I think maybe there's just one. Hmm. I don't know. I forget. This game. This game gets confusing. Not really fully understand what I'm doing, even after all these years. That's very bright. Let's not fly there. Ah, it's doing it again. Fucking hell. Okay, okay. Uh, uh. 
Now I've heard these are not super accurate, these um these rings. They're about as thin as they should be, but the particles should vary in size a lot more. They should be a lot bigger ones. The the size is too homogeneous, as I understand it. But you know, it's a game. Well then it's ten you don't really need to reinstall. Yeah, that's what I thought. Cause it's you know, it's because I haven't needed to. Okay. Let's install this computer and change CPUs, graphics, and everything running fine. Yeah. It's that, it's, yeah. I don't know what it is then. There's probably a way to fix it without. It's weird how that feels bright in my eyes, even though it's just as bright as any other part. Any other bit of the screen. Then again, I do run dark mode on anything. If anything doesn't run dark mode, I'm just like, oh god, my eyes, why? So, uh, occasional freezes sometimes when I'm streaming, never quite figured it out. Mm. Well, the stream isn't lagging. I've lost zero skipped frames due to encoding lag. 18 missed frames, which is less than 0.1% uh, due to rendering lag. So I don't think it's that. Uh, these are metallic asteroids, aren't they? I think they are. Yeah. In that planet have a gravestone which reads to the memory of the memory of Lisa Yates. Who's Lisa Yates? <laughs> Classic. Oh, yeah, okay. Every time... This annoys me. Every time I... Like, f find an asteroid field, no matter how deserted it is, no matter how far out it is, there's always someone else here. Why are you here? How could you possibly... What are the odds? Unless this Sky ring is detected. there, and there's one of these assholes who wants to rob me from my fucking... Bloody bleeding, uh, hard getting gains. But, yeah. Why don't you sod off, and then I'll get some car, so, so, some asteroids. And I could, but this isn't really a combat ship. I don't really. Also, with that stuttering, and it's been a while since I had a fight with anything. Also, it's it's a fucking Viper Mark IV, and I've got what have I got? I've got a beam laser and a seeker missile. It's not a lot. Um, you know, because most of the hard points taken up with... Uh, with uh, mining tools, you know. Recording to SSD. Yeah, I'm recording to an SSD as well. It is recording to the same SSD. That might be a reason. I think it was doing... I, I was playing it a bit last night, though, and it was doing it when I wasn't recording. So, I appreciate you all trying to help me diagnose it. I just... I don't know. Are these asteroids constructed in OpenGL? I don't know. I think this is DirectX. I'm pretty sure. Almost everything is now. Is that right? Probably. Okay, let's try this asteroid. Programming Just ignore the issue. Yeah. All right, I'll cheer us. Thanks for stopping in. Oh shit! I looked away. Okay. <laughs> hey. Asteroid scan complete. That was fun. Just turn on the ship lights. Uh. There we are. This doesn't make much difference. Um. Okay. So this one has no fissures, and it only has these annoying things. Uh, so, there's three types of mining in this game. There's three types of ways you can do this, so... These... These bits... Why is it still making the noise? It's really annoying. Stop it! It's making the flying noise, and it's not flying. Let's just get away from it. It's still doing it. So... There's the simple mining laser, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Uh, I, I, most of you probably played this. Could be Vulcan. It's annoying. It is. 
it's really uh, how's the sound balance by the way I hope it's okay I did uh, try to test it out um, so this is the oldest method of mine and you just laser it and bits come off and it doesn't usually get very much uh, good material um, so the other way is to fire these subsurface missiles um, friendship drive indeed uh, um, yeah and I find that that system just kind of annoying so I basically just do this and the abrasion blaster and the uh, seismic charges to blow up the asteroids let's get some collectors going got a lot of little bits here now and then let's uh back and whoops uh no i want to do free camera how do i do that oh yeah sorry uh i know how to play this game there we are oh there we are so that's fun limp it's just Grab the bits for me. Enjoy that. Let's laser it some more. Get some more bits coming off. Game is pretty quiet. Okay, let's see if I can fix that. Huh. It's on maximum, so let me uh, go into the options and see if I can turn it up here. Hmm. Yeah. It's as loud as it goes. Maybe my voice is too loud. If I turn myself down, then you can turn the sound up a bit more. Power, power. Have some bits. Hey. Have some bits. Thanks, sir. Uh... <laughs> Thanks, Ritu. Appreciate the bits. And there's some... Yeah, my, my, my alerts are down the bottom now, out of the way, which is nice. Okay, I've turned myself down a bit. So, maybe I can... I have this little monitor ear thing. I can try that for a bit. I can hear myself creaking. It's so weird to hear yourself when you talk. Yeah. I think that balance is alright. Kind of hard to tell because um, because I'm hearing myself through my own head as well as through my little monitor cable. Just finished For All Mankind series season four. Excellent. Yes, For All Mankind is great. If anyone doesn't know, it's oh okay. Uh, are these limpets doing their job? Why is this limpet not doing its job? There's all these bits, and it's not doing its job. Have I have I got to do something in here? Oh right, yeah. Okay. Um. Uh. Fuck, I don't know. Right, I've got to clear out the, the queue before they'll do their job. What are you doing? Does anyone know how to play this game? Uh, okay, what's what have we got here? We've got... Painite, Bertrandite, Indite. Okay, so let's, we can clear out everything except those. Uh, Coltan and Galite. Yeah, Is it going to work now? Why aren't you collecting this shit? Do it! What am I doing wrong? This, is, this worked yesterday. Oh. Cargo scoop. Right, I closed it again. Okay, now they're doing their job. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, For All Mankind is great. Uh, obviously no spoilers, but um, it's an alternate history of the space race if the Soviets were first on the moon. And that's like right at the beginning of the first episode, so that's as far as I'm going to go. And it's it's so good. It's brilliant. Yeah. There's a lot of weight in, though, when you're mining. Especially when you forget to deploy your fucking cargo hatch like an idiot. 
So, when you, uh, does this whole thing with the hopper, and it has to fill it up to 100% before it turns into an actual, uh, like, unit of, of, of useful cargo. Oh, we've collected elements, too. That's nice. All these materials. Which you need... Right, stop oh, that! that. Silly. Silly! Is that doubled up for you? Do you hear that twice? <laughs> that was loud. Did you hear that twice, or was that just once for you? <laughs> that was, like, echoey for me. Damn it! I tested this! God damn it! Okay, wait. I will fix this. Uh... Okay, we're gonna try it again. Um, double the silly. What a shame! What a shame! Damn it! Ah, oh, man, it's always the way. It's always the way. I test it thoroughly, and it doesn't work. Incredible. Okay, well, do I try to fix that now? How does it? Why? Oh, I know. No, I don't. Do I know? Hmm. I'm stupid. I'm a bad streamer. Never mind. <laughs> what, a, what a shame. I will ignore the issue. Yes, this is tech. Of course it doesn't work. So, another thing. You failed! Oh, it's so loud. Is that unbelievably loud for you? Man, why am I so bad at this? <laughs> Embarrassing. Uh, can't believe it. The bits one was doubled as well, wasn't it? There must be a reason. I mean, there is a reason. I just don't know what it is. Oh, well. Aha! Uh -huh. Now this one has fishes. We like that. A Not fishes. Fishes. Uh, should we just like just blow it open? Yeah, let's blow the thing open. Let's do it. Okay. So the way this works is you've got these fishes, and you've got to launch seismic charges into it. Phew. Okay. Detonation sequence initiated. Double the bits. Du yes. Double the, the bits. Double the fun. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you, Ritu. Appreciate it. Okay, knocking off a few bits while I see them as well. Okay, this one is high strength, so we can put a big charge into it. There we go. Still need a bit more oomph. The, uh... Display on the top right shows how much we need to. How much more we need. That was high strength as well. Okay, almost there. We need just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Um, oh, there's one. High strength. Let's do a medium one here. Optimum yield range. That's what we like to see. Good stuff. Okay. I'm gonna eat your little fishy. I'm gonna eat your little fishy. Because I like little fish. Okay, let's get a nice shot while we blow up this asteroid. How much time we got? Doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, let's see if while I'm looking at this I can figure out what's going on here. So... Hmm... I have a look at the advanced audio properties. These are so advanced. Oh, we're about to have an imminent explosion! Oh dear me man! We're about to have an explosion! There we go. Isn't that fun? Yeah. It blinks. 
wobblings. So now we can get at the juicy, juicy innards of this very dusty rock now. It no longer blinks. Oh, the 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 the, the charges, yeah. Imminent, my, uh, is it imminent? Is it still imminent? I'm not sure it's still imminent. Uh, okay. Let's get into range. I wish it wasn't quite so dusty. It's really hard to see. Flight assist off. I'd like to turn off the flight assist here so I can just drift by. Probably launch some uh, some collectors as well. Programming limpet drone. Programming limpet drone. Okay. Uh, you can get a whole uh, inertia thing going here. It's really quite fun. There we go. Like flat assist is nice, but. Sometimes you just want to have your fun with Isaac Newton. There we go. Yeah, so... I was, uh... So, you, you know the whole alerts thing, you know, the channel points and the, uh... And the follow alerts and all that. Twitch should... Oh god, okay, flight assist on! Flight assist on. <laughs> uh, Twitch should, like, set up their own version of it, because before... You had to use these third-party sites, like Stream Elements and, and, and stuff like that. And then they introduced their own version of it. And it's like, great, I can get it all in one place and it'll all work. Because it's, you know, it's, it's first party. It's, there's no way that's going to not work. So I spent ages setting it up, and then it doesn't work. Flight just for no reason. Off. I contacted Twitch support as a joke, just to see if, what, what would happen. And nothing happened, of course. Um, yeah, so I went back to the Stream Elements. Version and, uh, and and other things. Um, yeah, big waste of bloody time. Don't use streams alerts, uh, Twitch's alerts because they don't work. Okay. Uh, what's happening? It's really, it's so bright. All this dust. I wish blowing up asteroids wasn't so dusty. You can blow up uh, ice asteroids and then it just gets like icy. Windshield actually uh, crossed up. Oh, it ran into an asteroid, didn't it? Stupid thing. Let's see, there's still a couple more. Okay, you're on the other side of the asteroid. Okay. Didn't spin round. Very nice. Oh, we're so close. So close we can taste it. What does it taste like? It tastes like dust. Okay, flight assist on. Flight assist on. That's what I said. Come on, come back. Oh. That was a failure. Yeah, there's a whole like Thargoid war going on. And I'm just here, you know, mining. There we go. You just bring your vacuum cleaner. That's a good. Po oh yeah, that would be great. Like a like a like a dust blower. You know, like to like you used to like a, ca a can of compressed air to. Uh... Flight assist off. To um. <laughs> to dust out the asteroid. Oh, it's so close, it's scary. I mean, that would have been cool, but it wasn't. There we are. Alright. Flight assist on. Alright. Come on, little limpets, do your job. Now, can I just mine this? Can I just laser this thing? Will it, will it give out more stuff? It will! That's kind of handy. While I'm waiting for the rest, there's some more bits. Should probably have some more. Um... Flight assist off. No. Here we are. Collectors, we need more collectors. Just minding my own business. Exactly. <laughs> Programming limit drone. 
so yeah, uh, this I was I was not sure if this start time would work for people because I didn't want to start too late because I've actually been waking up in the morning like some kind of normal person, and so leaving it till seven kind of made me too tired. So binary full. Okay, okay. Um, Bertrand Guy, Miriam. I can't remember which one of these is worth having. Uh, like what? What is? What is even around here? We have lots of platinum, and we have Bertrandite, Indite, Samarium. So let's dump the cobalt. Okay, good. Go, my minions, and collect things. Uh, yeah, so I'm glad this start time seems to work for people. Because this is a lot more manageable for me. Because um, I can get a decent day's work done and then do this at five. And then still have the evening to chill. So that's good, isn't it? Okay, I think there's nothing left in that one. No, nothing. Okay. Flight assist on. Can we help out these limpets by getting a bit closer to. Way! I remember the first time I went astro mining, I pressed the wrong button and boosted right into the thing, and then he destroyed my poor little sidewinder. Very sad. It was ages before I lost the ship, though. I think the first time was to a PvP when I was playing in open. Uh, open, what's it? And uh, yeah, I tried to run. He had a <clears throat> he had a combat ship. Uh, what was it? Can't remember the class, but it was a lot faster than my little dinky thing. I did actually try to drop my cargo, but um, but I forgot to turn off point defense, so it kept shooting down his limpets, and he blew me up for that. So <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. I'm sorry. Oh. Are you picking this up or what? Come on. It's right here. I could just scoop it myself. Oh, he's getting it. Okay. Cool. How are we for time? Yeah, so the ads on Twitch are really annoying. So if you if you joined in the beginning, you probably saw three minutes of ads, but the reason I do that is because if I run like all what the fuck? If I run all the ads at the beginning, then it won't run any ads for people joining in for an hour until I go on break. And then I just run the ads during the break. I've said this before, but you know, it's bears repeating. So I'm not. Collector limpet expired. That's fine. I'm not. I'm not like. I'm just trying to minimise the ads at least while the stream is. There's something happening on the stream, you know. So. Okay. Programming the prospector. So, do any of you any of you uh, regularly play this? I know some of you uh, have played it in the past, but I don't know if you still play it. Okay, this uh, this asteroid's depleted. This is the one I already did. Damn it! <laughs> what a waste of time. Never mind. Let's get a bit further out. Um, Cargo scoop retracted. Let's just fly somewhere else. One could always remove ads by subscribing. Hey, did you know with Amazon Prime? Uh, no. I wish you could just get rid of them. Uh, I, there was an ad blocker that used to work, like a specific Twitch ad blocker, but it doesn't work anymore. Yeah, Amazon Prime, they're giving you ads now, even though you're paying. It's outrageous. Because they know, because you want the other features of Amazon Prime, like Collect delivery and whatever. Expired. You're going to, you're going to, you know, you're not going to just cancel the membership, but... This is how. You, this is why people pirate. Just saying. Don't know why I went so high there. Play through Rebel Galaxy Outlaw. Oh, what's that? Rebel Galaxy. Is that the? Um, it rings a bell. That's a space game, right? It's something pretty obvious by the title. <laughs> yeah. It 
rings a bell. I think I played the first one a little bit. Maybe. So many games. Respect a bit engaged. Okay, let's just laser this one a bit. Asteroid scan complete. It's another one with these stupid holes. I reckon if I get if I can get a mining setup going on my anaconda, I could probably have enough hard points to do all the types of mining and still have combat capability. Had an ED license since like an eternity, but never played it much. Yeah. Another space game in Wing Commander Privateer style. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Lasering. I love la. Oh shit. Uh. <laughs> Redirect power to weapons. Again with the refinery. Why can't the refinery be infinite in size? That would be helpful. Uh, let's see. I. What do we have out here? Uh, we have osmium, palladium, samarium. Okay, let's uh, dump the stuff we're not using. I think I remember muscovite being expensive, so I'll leave that in there. Uh, Indoite, Serendipite, there we go. Yeah, in theory I really like this game, but in practice it's it's just a grind fest and it's kind of, it just doesn't feel like you have much agency, you know. I don't, I don't know. I should get into the, the Thargoid fighting, but I just, I kind of don't know where to start and it's not really clear. There's not really a good guide in game, you have to like read the wikis and that's just... The game does not get points for what the wiki says, you know what I mean? Got all these nice, neatly arranged little nuggets, for some reason. Just park right here. Bump. Bumped him. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> Fiery full again. What the hell? What is that noise? Are you, are you limpets having a hard time for some reason? What is going on? Let's play through Homeworld Deserts of Karak, Homeworld, Homeworld Capitalism, and Homeworld 2. Excellent. I haven't played the Homeworld games in a long time. I did get the remastered uh, games, but I played them for a bit and then kind of just didn't carry on. I just don't have the time for gaming that I used to have. But I'm, try I'm trying to make time, and I, I figure if I do it while streaming, that's, you know, that's doing two things at once, Cargo scoop which, is, which is, which is efficient, probably. But I'd like to do some longer stuff, okay, I've said this so many times, okay, am I going back the way I came? Is that the asteroid I've already been to? Who knows? In preparation of Hubble 3, oh yes. Collect Olympic expired. It's fine. This one is very yellow. Look how yellow it is. A brightly coloured yellow that is for some reason. I've never been able to interpret what these what the, the scanner actually means with its weird colours and stuff. Is this a blowy uppy asteroid? Who knows? Engaged. Uh, nope. It's just Asteroid one of scan these. Complete. Let's just laser it a bit, shall we? Uh, get some, get some limpets going. Programming limpet drone. Oh. <laughs> Programming limpet drone. I sent a message in the chat automatically. I was trying. I was thinking of doing some more game dev streams as well. That might be good. Um. I'm not sure whether to actually put those up on the Jim Max Games channel if I do them. Maybe some highlights. Because I kind of don't want to. I want the Jim Max Games channel to be a bit more. Um, like. structured content, not just. Uh, I don't want to kind of fill it up with streams. You know what I mean? I could put them up there unlisted or something. But then who's going to watch them? So what's the point? But just to have them, I guess. I don't know. It's the cowardly asteroid. Why? Why is it cowardly? I don't get it. I don't understand the joke. 
Um, uh, uh, Sumerian Prezium Diminimium. It's yellow, right? Duh! I'm so stupid. <laughs> okay. He sounds so sad when he says it. How are we doing now? We have some platinum, some of this stuff, lots of it. Uh, we have about a hundred, hundred spaces left. A hundred cargo, lots of its space of stuff left. So, lots more mining to do. But it's in a game like this where I just kind of wonder why I'm doing it, you know. It's kind of fun. It's like fishing. This is a, this is a fishing game. This part of it. This is this is this fishing mechanics right here. Just the asteroid is a fish, you know. It has fishes. Oh wow! I discovered a new. I discovered an element. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's been discovered before, but still, I'm gonna I'm gonna be proud of that. What is it? Rhenium? Is that what it said? So look at it. Rhenium is a silvery white heavy transition metal. Heavy transition metal, Batman. Its atomic number is 75 and is considered one of the rarest elements on Earth. More plentiful sources of the element have been found. Duh, duh, duh. This material is used by engineers. Okay. Cool. Cool, that's fun. Uh, right, let's go to another asteroid. Can you do the periodic table song? I definitely cannot. <laughs> I wish I could. Is that the one that's based on? Um, I uh, am the very I am the very model of a modern major general. I have information about vegetable, animal, and mineral. And other kind of historical and something. Blah 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 blah. And as far as I can get before I ruin the song completely. <laughs> yeah. Pretty sure it's that. Yeah. That's uh. That's brilliant, but no, I, I have no, can you do it? Can anyone do it? Nobody can do it. That's, that's, somebody can do it. Programming limit, drone. I don't have the, it'd be, it's a, it'd be good practice for enunciating. Oh, I just broke my prospector with my nose of my ship. Programming limit, Stop it. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, Respect we're fine. Engaged. Oof. Okay. Asteroid scan complete. Hero content low. Let's just mine it anyway. Can't even do the original song. I mean, neither can I. I can do a little bit of it for like five seconds. I think the first time I heard that was in Babylon 5. And um, Ross Scott did a really fun version of it, like different lyrics in uh, Freeman's Mind. If you know that show series, it's really good. Like he updated it for um, for because it's quite an old-fashioned song. It was in Breaking Bad too. I don't remember that. When was it in Breaking Bad? I don't know why I saw Breaking Bad. I watched it twice. I think. Let's do something with this. Oh, sh I think I'm too close to this asteroid. Okay, yeah. Just took a little bit of shield damage. Nothing too bad. Okay, that starts at six minutes. So I'll go on a five minute break. A nerdy scientist guy. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. Okay, what do we want to. Indite, Praseodymium, Palladium. Uh, oh. Actually, okay, we don't need to... Oh, shit! I just dumped a bunch of stuff. Never mind. More where that came from. Someone's on TNG. Was it? Wait. Yes! It was like a bit of it. Geordie started singing it. Um, It was an episode... What was it? Was it Disaster? Where they were in... The... He was in the cargo bay with Dr. Crusher. And she was trying shut to get... Shut up, Wesley! Wesley. <laughs> Fair enough. 
showing off my Star Trek knowledge. And get, get double shot up. <laughs> uh, oh wait, there's still a bunch of Astro bits. Um. <laughs> Uh, I really need to fix that stupid double nonsense. It's always the way, you know. So it's working fine until you show someone and then it breaks. Brilliant. Hey, right, we're right in the middle of all the fragments now. Probably dump some more collectors. Wait, no. Oh, I've got some select. There we go. Albionium, hello! Welcome in. How's it going? TNG in stereo, yeah. Can you do the TNG episode song? Oh. Gee, I love Star Trek Next Gen. I'll watch them all over and over again. I mean, that part's easy. It's the episodes. Oh, there's no way. There's no way. I can't remember all the episodes in order. That's fucking hard. That would be something to memorize. I could, yeah. yeah. Oh man, <laughs> that's a great, that's a great little, uh, little bit of nerdy fandom stuff. If you haven't seen that, look up the TNG, the Next Generation episode guide song. I'm still talking about Star Trek. <laughs> you can't stop me. You can just shout at me. <laughs> How's it going, Albionium? Good to see you here. I already said that. Doesn't matter. I'm saying it again. And it's glitching again. Never mind. So yeah, now that I've got a nicer graphics card, there's a bunch more games I can play. Uh, I, I made a list. Oh shit. The yeah, starting. I'm going to go through the list of games I might play after the break. Uh, yeah. And uh, <laughs> hello again. I got a 4060. So it's, you know, it's not the most insane. I basically got what I need to play Baldur's Gate 3 because that's what I want to play. Um, because I loved Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 and it's 5th edition and it's turn based I mean what and it's it's it's, good. it's probably the best game of the decade. Not a football really. Oh I, I wouldn't know. Uh, oh yes because you're thinking of Albion. Yeah. You know, it'd be cool if there was a mechanic in this game where the asteroid fields would actually like deplete over time. Commander Stu Pedas has come online. I don't remember who that is. I've got some uh, some messages here. Oh yeah, yeah. This is about the um, Titan Tyrannus is currently is taking significant damage. Any pilot able to assist in the battle is requested to travel to Hyades Sector FB-7 B7-6. Brilliant name. And engage the Titan directly. Rescue ship Hunter in the Talon system is stocked with Guardian Nanite torpedo pylons. Galaxy map has been configured to provide both local. I guess I could I could try that. Rewards have been requested for any pirate who can bring another Titan. Should I try that? That might be fun. Oops. See how badly I die. Thargoid pulse neutralizer is now available for immediate purchase from all rescue mega ships. Uh, okay. Is that is that is that what you need to? And caustic sink launchers. Oh man, everything ex they're throwing in everything except the caustic sink, in actually including the caustic sink. Rumtar's research. Okay. Should I go try to fight the Titan? I mean, it's 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 a thing. I'm never going to get to do it again, am I? Maybe I should just do it. Well, let's, we'll finish mining here, and maybe I'll go do that. Maybe I'll go do that. Chill stream about getting blown up by Sargoids, why not? I should probably go back to Shinrata Desert and get my fighting ship. Uh, yeah. Let's do that. Why not? Still one of the most advanced pieces of technology humanity has ever created. Oh yeah, the graphics card. It really is. It's kind of insane. And we use it for uh, playing games and creating fake currency. <laughs> anyway. I'm going to go on a five minute break and when I get back, I'll I'll be here again. So, see you in a bit. Bye. I'm back. 
minute. I did something that might fix the alert problem, but it might not. I'm really going to have to just fix that when, uh, when I can. When we're when I'm off stream, really. Wouldn't be it wouldn't be a stream if something didn't go completely wrong. Hey, <laughs> hey, that's fun. Remember the meow. <laughs> Thank you, Ritu. That didn't seem to double up. Your query five, welcome in. How's it going? Good to see you. Um, yeah, I haven't got nearly a full load. But um, phrasing. But um, what a shame. Oh, it does. It does break. It does. It does. It is fucked. Never mind. Um, yeah, I'll fix it later. I'm a programmer. I'll fix it later. That's how it goes. Oh yeah. Uh, all right. Actually, wait. I should go to Shinrata Desra to pick up my 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 my, my shooty blow up ship. Where is where is it? Uh, bookmarks. There we go. Okay, that shouldn't be too too long to get there. Eight jumps, ah, that's doable. Friendship drive. The best kind of drive. And how are you, Query 5? I am good. I had a good day, and now I'm streaming. Ready to engage. Yeah, let's engage. Let's go right through the fucking asteroid belts. Four, three, two, and that's how we died. Engage. Boom. No, we're fine. Oh, I might have to stand up at some point. Ow. My neck. Oh, my back, my old. Oh, my old. Hey, there's the star. Hello. Just a bit of scooping. We need to scoop a few times when we on our way. Now what do we do? Fuel scoop disengaged. Oh yeah, I was going to talk about which games I might do um, long series of. I've got a whole list in Notion. I don't know Notion. I talked about it in my recent devlog on the Jim Makes Games channel. Excuse me. Um, Uh, there we go. I've got it all on my phone. Isn't that nice? Uh, so let's see. I've got like custom lists of stuff. No, I'm doing that wrong. Wait, I've broken everything. Never mind. No, there we go. Okay. I should put this up on the screen as a list or something. So. Doom 2016. I definitely want to play that at some point. I should probably stream that. I and mean, that, like, that's not a kind of game that would take a million years to play through. Even I wouldn't even need to finish it, really. Uh, let's see. Uh, there's a lot I don't even recognise. Uh, I've just, I've, I've obviously seen them. On my, these are all games I have. It's so many. So Deus Ex: Human Revolution, Cloud Punk, Bioshock games, uh, Ark, Baldur's Gate One and Two, Dishonored. Dragon Age Origin, Dragon Age 2, Dragon Age Inquisition, Legend of Grimrock 2, Mass Effect, Legendary 1, uh, I think I bought that, yeah I did, uh, Planescape Torment, Star Control Origins, Streets of Rage 4, Subnautica Below Zero, there's a lot, and a few smaller games. So it'd be really nice to be able to commit to doing it regularly. But I've had trouble with that in the past. And so what I end up doing is I end up doing like, oh I'll just do a stream, I'll do some Amiga Friendship games or something, and I don't really charging. get into it the way I do. But when I did Master of Ryan 2, I couldn't wait to pl fucking play again. You know, I was like, I want to stream extra days or longer just so I can play more of this fucking thing. It's addictive. Stellaris. I might, I might stream Stellaris. Get more of the, the DLC because I'm a sucker. What do you think I should stream? I'm open to ideas. Is this a purple star? 
I'm going to a purple star. Isn't that fun? This is a brown dwarf. It's a brown dwarf in it, that's why. Yeah, I'm kind of a scoop from this thing. Look at it. It's bare. It's not even a proper star. It's rubbish. I failed at being a star. I heard someone describe. Uh, they said uh, brown dwarfs are considered failed stars, but they could also be considered very successful planets. Frame shift drive charging. Although they're not really planets if they don't orbit a star, they're just kind of there. I have to go and put spaghetti into my face. Ciao for now. Okay, thanks for joining, Cyber Noob. That reminds me, have you seen the um, the AI? Uh, there was like a year ago, there was an AI video of Will Smith eating spaghetti, and it's horrific. And there's a new one with m more recent AI, and it's slightly less horrific. So we're getting there. <laughs> Progress of a sort. Yes. Is this a. Yeah. I've just probably spent a while scooping here. System scan complete. Let's have a nice look at this star while we scoop. It is a very picturesque game for all its flaws. It's stuttering. <laughs> Will Smith is getting better at eating spaghetti. Well, you know, we all work to our strengths or something. How are we doing for fuel? Still, we need a lot. Jesus Christ. Three more jumps. Three more jumps. Okay. If I go faster, I'll get more fuel, but I'd be more likely to run into the star. Oh, shit. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. We gotta wait a long time for cooldown now. I screwed up. Never mind. Look at the spinnies. They're fun, aren't they? Oops. Do not step. No step on snack. It's good it has that feature so you don't just fly into a star like an idiot. Hmm. Looks like melted glass, it's weird. Okay. Almost ready to Destination Star. Yeah no 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 no. Don't want to hyperspace. Just go to Oh there's a Goid be gone. There's a there's a uh... Oh Ross one two eight. Oh wow. I rec I remember that from the uh Oh wow, we're really close to the to the bubble, aren't we? Look at this. Huh. Um, and there's Sol. I wish I could go to Sol. I don't want to work for the bloody Federation to just to get a permit for that. Shift drive charging. Okay, let's see if I can get out of this Ready to without blowing myself up. Yep, my heat's bad. Okay, okay, okay. Stop. Let's try that again with the escape vector aligned. Frame shift drive charging. Oh yeah, Rust One Two Eight was the penal colony. The 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 religion the the cult thing was that um fuel scooping um was that Van Marn and Star. Yeah, Rust One Two Eight was the prison colony. Pretty easy to get a permit in that game. You just uh, do a package mission to get there. Yeah, you got to like rank up shit. Uh, okay. Frame shift drive charging. I could do the Federation missions just so I can go look at Earth. Maybe I will. <sighs> I know that game so well, it's ridiculous. I played it so much. It felt like you could know that universe, you know what I mean? And even then, there were corners of it I never explored. I mean, the handcrafted bits, obviously. There was so much of that game that was just... Fuel scooping. Just procedurally generated crap, but... You know, there was a lot of... Uh... Oh dear. We have a little Disengaged. message from someone who wants to... to, to... No, I'm leaving. Charging. 
Yeah. What was I saying? Yeah, like you could know that game, but this game there's just so much. Go, go, go! It's really annoying being interdicted by a star as well, because you're more likely to just crash into the star. Which is, I guess, one way of jump, d dropping out of uh, hive space without them interdicting you, but it's bad. For a different reason. It's because I got all this stuff, isn't it? Yeah. It's just not very valuable material. Someone's willing to kill me for it. There we go. Shinrad Hodezra. The weird name for the people who uh, backed the game on Kickstarter. Cause, uh, when I was so enamoured with the prospect of this game, I even backed it on Kickstarter. And it was just not what I had to be. Kickstarter, yeah! Remember those days of optimism, kickstarting things? I don't. I haven't even looked at Kickstarter in years. Like it was a, it was a different time. It's very active, yeah. There was a lot of interesting stuff on there for a while. I did a few games I backed and I haven't even played, like Xenonauts. So I backed that and I didn't even play it. <laughs> okay, where are we going? Jameson Memorial. That's the one. I could have sold my cargo elsewhere, but some very bad experiences. Oh yeah, people not delivering. I never actually had that. I only ever backed games, and some of the get all the games delivered. Um, not all of them were as good as I hoped. There was one called Anachronox, I think. The the oh, no. No, no, no. It was something else. It was something, something... It was an A-something, the infinite RPG. And it was like a kind of procedurally generated world. Kind of like Minecraft meets Daggerfall, sort of. But it just did not turn out well. It was way too ambitious for the for, for, for the developer to, to realistically do. And it just didn't. But I sympathise, you know. It's the thing game devs do. Especially when they're new. few hardware things and they actually delivered. Oh, that's cool. Been back in Kickstarters for a while and I'm quite happy with it. Oh, okay. Anything notable you want to share? I was thinking, would it be worth doing some kind of Kickstarter for fire or weapons at some point? I'm not sure what the value would be in that. Maybe, like, getting the money to hire artists to work on it would be good, rather than paying out of pocket, but, you know. I am working with a new artist on uh, to make a new uh, alien for viral weapons, so that's cool. Should have that update in the next devlog, hopefully. I should try turning up the graphics. I'm going to do that. Let's see see if that works. Uh, quality. Let's turn the quality up to high, and then. Because I think I think we can manage it. Yeah, still running at sixty, just dipping a little below sixty. So I think I'll keep it there. Okay, let's uh, press stop here. This is flight control. Reduce speed to one zero zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I'm ready. Proceed to bay zero seven. You are approved. <laughs> I like this view. It's like it's like a star destroyer, but a lot smaller. Are you kickstarted Star Citizen? Yeah, too ambitious hasn't stopped Star Citizen, but Yeah, I've heard some shit about that game. <laughs> Landing gear deployed. Pathfinder CRPGs. Oh, this Pathfinder computer role playing games? What? I didn't know that. What are they? My brother plays a lot of Pathfinder and Starfinder. 
I wouldn't mind getting into it, but I struggle enough with D and D five E. It's probably not the best place to sell my stuff, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's about the same as Galactic Average, why not? Sell it all. It's all profit anyway. Pathfinder King, Martha, Kingmaker, and Pathfinder Wrath of the Ratchets. Are they good? They turn based. <laughs> or do they do a Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 type thing? Okay, we have six stored ships here. Let's uh, let's load up the old uh, the Crate Mark 2, the Defiant. Yeah. Oh, wait. Um, this ship is associated with an outstanding fine. Oh, never mind. Um. Do I want to move any of the internals out? No, I think it's fine. Oh wait, press the wrong button. Okay. Uh, here's this ship. You can choose between real time and turn based. Nice. Cool. Uh, okay. Now what do we have on this ship? We have Pulse laser. Wait, why do I have an abrasion? Oh, I was using this thing for mining? That's crazy. Okay, we've got the kill run scanner and, the, and all this. Let's just, let's, just, let's just sort out this thing's... Uh, things. Outfitting. Oh. Okay. Alright, want to remove the subsurface placement. What's it? We'll store it. We have to watch it go away. We can do this. Store this one. Probably sell it, but whatever. Love the first, need to play the second. Nice. Okay. Let's see. I have a lot of stored modules here. What do we want? Uh, we've got pulse lasers here. These are engineered, so those are pretty good. Uh, what else have we got? Beam cannons, experimental. Oh, these. So these are the things we need to fight the Thargoids, right? Pylon is insulated against anti guardian field technology. Okay. Primary persons disrupt Titan heat vents. Right, this is the one I'm supposed to buy, right? To be able to hurt... Hurt the, uh... Titans. It's a million credits. Fine. Let's try it. Look at that. Alright. Uh... Can I access my... Hmm. Okay, these are the stored modules. So, as I understand it, normal weapons won't work against uh, Thargoids. Is that right? Does anyone know? Okay, these ones, these ones can hurt Thargoids too. But these ones are specifically for the... Uh, for the Titans. So maybe I should get some for the actual... Uh... Uh, for the regular Thargoids to fight them off. Enhanced Axe Multi-Cannon. Yeah, let's get two of those Multi-Cannons, I guess. What do we want? The uh, 2E or 2D? The more expensive one is the better one. There we go. 
Is that just because it's gimbaled? Hmm. What's the damage? DPS 10, that one's 9. That one's fixed. I don't want it fixed because then I can't aim for shit. Let's get this. Let's get two of these. King Maper is pretty much a straight conversion of only adventure modules. Okay. Well, how does that work, though? Because, you know, adventure modules are not designed for that. They're designed for... Um... They're designed for, um, you know, for a DM to use. So, I wonder how well that translates. Pulse wave analyzer. I don't need that, because that's for the, uh... Let's get a shield booster or something. No. Uh, let's get another point defense turret. That one. Okay. Lightweight allies? No, 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 no. We want something better than that. Uh, reinforced military grade. 37 million. Jeez. Uh, hmm. It does reduce our speed a bit, but damn. That gives us a whole boost of a. Let's go with the. Oh, 16 million or 37 million. God damn it. Aya oh, yeah, Alen, hello there. It's been a while. How's it going? It really depends on how much they translate the core mechanics first. Yes, hello. Welcome in. How's it going? Uh, screw it. Let's get this one. Got the money. Power plant, that looks fine. Thrusters, can we get better thrusters? Uh, maybe, actually. 6A. Got six C here. How do I? Okay, stored modules. Let's see what we got. Someone who's only played CRPG and not the board game. It's great. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's see what internals we have. Wait, we already have some armor. Okay, that's that's the one I just. Oh wait, we do. We have this. I could have just. Oh man. Cannot equip. As it, oh, it's the As Asp Explorer with two A's. That's weird. Never mind. Uh, frame shift drive. What is the one we have here? Where is it? Is it the same? Our distributors. How do we see what what my current one is? Oh, that one's a 7A. I need to... Yeah, okay. Uh, right, I was going to get new thrusters. Not bad. Actually, hide to a game dev studio. That's awesome news. Well done. That's so cool. Oh, why is my camera blurry? Is it blurry? Doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, I don't know if you can share details, but if you, if, if you want to, uh, and you can, you're welcome to. But obviously, if you, if that's, you know, yeah. <laughs> uh, right. What did I want? I wanted better thrusters, potentially. Do I have any stored thrusters? No. Okay. So, core internal thrusters. Uh, class rating high to low. 8B. Do these fit on the ship? Holy shit. Those are good. Wait, why do I have six then? Man, this is so expensive though. I'm overthinking this. But we only have a six slot here, don't we? Let's just... Oh no, don't replace it. Replace module. Yeah. Let's just get some 6A. Okay. There we are. 
Entry Strive 5, Power Plant. It's, yeah. Power Distributor. Okay. I have my name in credits of Steam iOS Switch game called Project Dark. Audio only branching narrative game. That is brilliant. I'll have to check that out. I'll have to look it up. That's so cool. Okay. Right, let's kind of set up some uh, fire grips here. So, we've got our standard stuff. We'll do the pulse lasers. And then... I guess we can do... Like that. Oh, I've got these prospect Olympic things. I don't I don't need those. Let's get rid of the prospect Olympics. Uh what should I turn off? Right. Uh we don't need the refinery. Supercruise assist is fine. Detox surface scanner, we might as well leave that. Okay, this one can be stored. This one. Minor 8 can go. Fighter hanger. Ooh. I forgot that we have fighters. Uh, let's see. It's AFMS. Auto fit there. Light assist in the Dictus fuel scoop. We need a fuel scoop. Some kind. That one will do. Uh, hull reinforcements, yeah. Get a hull reinforcement package. Maybe another one. Probably have to buy it, that's fine. It's not expensive. Okay. Cargo rack, we don't need a big one. Oh, it's in use. Oh, it's because I've got all these damn... Let's just get rid of this one. What else do we want? Shield generator? We already have a shield generator. <laughs> I think. We must do. Yes, a 6B. Okay. Sorry, I know this isn't super exciting, but I, I didn't even plan to do this. But I want to go shoot some Thargoids, and might as well do it for the first time on stream, because that'd be fun. Uh, can we get another hull reinforcement? Module reinforcements? Yeah, let's get that. Quit. All right. Uh, do we have fighters? Oh yeah. Do we need crew for that? Have I got crew? That's so cannot apply. In yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Should I hire a crew member just to go in the stupid? Uh, do you know where to find Thargoids? In the, um, uh, the, 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 whatchamacallits? Brain, work, please. Um, the message, the, the message in the, um, in the thing told me where to find a, let's get this person. Our pilot. Wait a minute, do we already have this inactive crew? We have this person. Let's just hire let's just use them. Set active. There we are. Fine. You're a novice, but you'll do. Now are you? Is this person a Whatever. Restock. Turn to surface. Uh, fiddly tech upgrades, meaty design, goodness. Exactly. <laughs> um, oh, I don't have an auto launcher on this on this thing. I have to actually fly it myself. Okay, let's see. Uh, Titan Tyrannus. So Hyades. I think it'll it'll be on the uh, on the galaxy map, right? Crewmate, warm body in seat. Exactly. Good enough. Okay, uh, mm. uh, I assume it's... Wait, what, what does any of this mean? Okay, fine. Let's, uh, let's, let's... Uh, I'm going to have to write down the damn name of this thing. Um. Uh, 
Uh, can I just put it in chat? That would help. And it's not working. Okay, fine. I'll put it somewhere else. Sorry, this is incredibly boring. FB dash N B7 dash 6 No, yeah, B7 dash 6 Right. Higher D sector FB dash N. Okay, good. Let's find it. <laughs> yeah, I should be able to type it in. So, I bet it's really far away. Maybe not. Higher D sector F FB. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. B7 dash 6. There we are. Oh, it's far. Okay. It's only, it's only like 10 jumps, probably. Steak Thargoid Titan. Okay. Well, 11 jumps. We can make that. That's fine. Alright, let's go. Landing restraint lifted. You are go for departure. Let's see if I can get out of this thing without killing myself. Okay, I think I'm supposed to go through the left. Thrusters only while in space dock. Landing gear retracted. Boom! There we go. Excellent. I just have to use this newfangled technology called hyperlinks. Yeah, I know, right? Be nice. I mean, there's a, there's a whole there's a really weird like lack of sensible technology in this universe. Like a lot of the stuff you do could be automated. I know it's a game, but you know, like. Warping from one, like doing this, this thing, where you're warping from one system to another. This could be done on autopilot. There's no reason I should have to do it manually. But there's no such thing. There's super cruise assist. Like, are you serious? That's the best that computer technology can do in 3310? We're a bit of self driving shit now. What happened? Maybe it's hyperflash de throttle engaged. Well, see, that's nice. But it could do so much more. It could play the game Thor, Thor me. There's a star system called Thor. That's kind of cool. I thought that before. That always crashes in games that don't let him auto land. It's it's it happened in the previous uh, Elite Dangerous stream I did. I was like cruising my brand new Anaconda, the biggest ship in the game, through the. Uh, through the docking port and I was in external view so I didn't notice all the alarms going off that I was violating docking regulations and uh, they blew me up in my brand new ship Ready to engage. that was silly Ready to wide load exactly <laughs> yeah now is time Testing things. There we go. Okay. Good. Good. Discovered Thor. Fuel scooping. Did you know that the Thor movie was written by Joe Michael Straczynski, the writer of Babylon 5? He has a cameo in it. He's the guy who comes along in the red truck and discovers Mjolnir. Are we there yet? <laughs> Don't make me turn this tar around. I mean, spaceship. Oh yeah, let's just have a look at the ship. This is this is the ship I'm in now. It's a crate, which I think is a kind of lizard or a snake or something. Oh, well, you just get towed from parking by this. Yeah, they're brutal. They're absolutely brutal in this universe. If you if you loiter somewhere for more than eight seconds, they just blow you up with lasers. It's insane. It's like it's an honest mistake. Tra traffic wardens have, have, have plasma accelerators in this universe. It's brutal. Fuel scooping. Discovered puppies sector. <laughs> it's so silly. Puppy sector. KRWB1-5. Disengaged. Frame shift drive how, many, how many more? Eight jumps. Come on. Then we can shoot Thargoids. I'll get blown up immediately. 
What a crate. What a piece of junk. You came in that thing? You're braver than I thought. Uh, should be enough time to get there and get blown up in 20 minutes before the ads start and I go on break. Oh yeah, it's a whole new, new cockpit as well, which is quite cool. I wish you could walk around inside your ship rather than in stupid space stations, but yeah, you know. Fuel scoping. Automation replacing meter cops. So sad. Less slash sarcasm, indeed. Maybe that's why some of the um, there's only so much automation because at some point they made automation beyond a certain point illegal. Because you know you can't do capitalism when when uh, when no one can do any work because it's all been taken by computers. Capitalism is alive and well in the 32nd century, 34th, 30 whatever, what is it? What year is it? 33, it's the 34th century, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's rare that you see a sci-fi setting take its technology to its logical conclusion. I mean, Star Trek never does that, you know. Like, they, they've basically established that you can resurrect the dead with the transporter and they just don't do it. And reverse aging, you know, and all kinds of shit, and they just don't do it <laughs> because, yeah, because. Frame shift drive charging. How many now? Six. I could just count, but that's that's a cognitive load I don't need. Ah. Oh. This is another part I don't like about this game. This is a relatively short trip, but it's taking forever, you know? I did a whole expedition to, to, to over the hills and far away, and it was ridiculous, you know? There's so many other games I could be playing, and I'm not, but I wanted to just do something, something I knew for the, for the first, first stream back. I'm kind of annoyed by the hyperspace de-throttling, I'm not used to it. I will probably try this out in VR though, because that is that is going to be cool, probably. Frame shift drive charging. That is panic. Pink? What's pink? Pink. I've forgotten the context of what your comment is about already. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I always do that. Painful pink. Ah, yes. Uh, what is it? What's that guy who made the uh, vent Vanta black, and he's not allowed to use the pink? You know what I mean? There's like a there's like a special dye that's the pinkest possible pink, and there's a guy who made Vanta black who is not allowed to use it, or something. Do you know what I'm talking about? Valentine's Day star. Yeah, it's not even a proper star. Like what is it? It's a uh... it's a red dwarf. Uh, no, it's a it's a brown dwarf, so it's not even a proper star. It's not actually uh, doing fusion properly because it's not got enough gravity and pressure. The pigment beef. 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 What? <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah. Is that what you, is that the, it's, some, it's something else, it's called something else, like a very, like the hottest pink, or something. Is it called the pigment beef? The pigment beef. Which pig? What are you talking about? <laughs> Sometimes I, I wonder if I'm as stupid as I sound. I mean, if I sound as stupid as I am. I mean, I know what I mean. <laughs> Why am I not collecting from this star? It's probably a star that's not good enough. Okay. Is this one a fuel star? I haven't run out of fuel. That would be annoying. Um. Hmm. Frame shift drive that's a fuel charging. star. Okay, good. Uh, so, with this new setup, like, because I know it can be annoying because you probably don't have 
this whole thing in full screen. So then the, the this this is like point there. That is not in full. That's like doubly not in full screen. So would it be better if it was you know like this? Um, because I can do this, but obviously there's no chat and there's no me. Um, but I can do that for like showing off uh, nice bits of stuff. So like you know like do it normally for regular gameplay. Fuel scooping. Okay, we're gonna have to fuel scoop here for a bit. So let's get a let's get a look at this this nice ship. It's okay. I'm not in love with the ship design. It's got these pointless pointy things. The pink is pink pigment, so they are fighting over pigment. Ah, oh, yes. The pigment beef, as in beef as in disagreement. Right. I have a literal mind, so I was thinking, is there like a pigment they use to colour beef? Because it's like too brown because the cows are sad or something? And, and, and like, no, 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 Jim. No, it's a beef as in a disagreement because beef is a metaphor for like argument for some reason. Why is that? Why is that a bit a metaphor for arguments? Beef, argument doesn't make any sense. Beef is not in disagreement with anyone. It's dead. <laughs> but nice bits, I think. It's useful to see when we appear in chat for latency. Yes. So, yeah. There's there's a nice a view of the ship. Let's get a view of the star with it. Oh god, the neighbor's baby's crying again. I hope you can't hear that. Probably not. Yeah. Can I rotate this? Uh, yeah, whoa. <laughs> uh, how do I zoom? Uh, no. Oh, yeah, there we go. Hey. <laughs> anyway, enough of that. Hey, you're the British native speaker here. Don't ask why your language is like that. I mean, yes, but technically I think that's American English, the whole beef thing. So it's a strange colonies dialect. It's nothing to do with me. You know, I don't need, I, to, to be fair, I don't know... English slang that well. Um, I was going to share an example, but almost all slang is is rude, and I I don't I don't want to share what that means. What the thing I learned today? <laughs> A bone to pick with. Oh yes, but what does that where does that come from? I've got a bone to pick with you. What do you mean? Like you want the bone and I have the bone? Oh wait, this is a Thargoid ship. I have a bone to pick with Thargoids. Thargoid control reported. Oh, we're gonna fight the Thargoids, I'm gonna die. Shit. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Three, yes. Two, one, I'm gonna keep an eye on the ad thing, because I'm gonna try snoozing them for a bit longer. Okay. Five more minutes than the previous amount of time. It's, it's, it's weird. Woo death, yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't see any targets. Let's see. What do we have here? Wacku. Hoopang. Oh wow. They're actually showing up on the. Disengaged. Uh, well, they're kind of showing up. A nearby. St oh, it's a star system. Oh, but it's got. It's that. That means. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Let's just go to the, the designated system. Yeah, I'm the, oh, oh, it's a bad, it's a bad time. Something's, oh, this is a Thargoid interdiction. This has never happened to me before. Oh, that's what he said. Oh God, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, I can, I can, I can escape to, to, no. I can, if I can just get to the, go there. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, I know. <sighs> Maybe I should just leave. Um. Oh. 
Scan disrupted. Oh, incoming. Okay, let's just leave. God, I hope feel this thing is... Okay, fine. Let's not be a coward. I'm going to fight them. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Caustic damage? What the hell? Oh, why isn't it? Damn it, these things are fast. Oh, let's just go. Oh, right, yeah. Um, I want to go somewhere where the... Where, where there's other humans and I have a chance. So I'm not just fighting on my own. Damn it, my hull is really bad. You wanted Thargoids, you got Thargoids. Whoa. I barely even saw them. Yeesh. Oh no, they're hyperdicting me. Oh shit. Oh no, oh no. I forgot they could do that. Oh, jeez. Damn caustic damage. What the hell? Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. Jeez. Shoot the damn thing. Oh, man. There's like a, there's the ship itself and then there's that weird cloud. I don't know what to shoot first. Ah, a whole swarm of the fuckers. Is this doing anything? Can't even, oh, I'm reloading. Jeez, okay. How about we just leave? Oh, oh, damn it. Be nice to be able to find a place to repair, actually. Oh. Chill stream! That's what this is. This is a chill stream! Why am I doing this? Don't do it again. Oh. Well, every Elite Dangerous stream now in the total destruction. Maybe. It's possible. Look at that. Why am I, I'm, my hull is like disintegrating. Oh no. Okay, this is somewhere. I need to go somewhere. Is there anything? That's the Titan. Okay, I need to head somewhere else. Bloody hell. Oh, these are really hard to escape. Man, I can't do this. I can't do this. I'm rubbish. No, 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 no. Oh, jeez. Oh. oh, man. I think I needed. I needed. I needed more practice. I can't fight the Thargoids. Taking damage. Yeah, I know, mate. Thanks for letting me know. Let's go somewhere else. Uh, anywhere. What destination? Let's just have a look. Look at this. Oh shit. Caustic missile. Safety cooldown in progress. Fuck the safety cooldown, I'm gonna die! Oh man. I should probably be doing evasive, evasive maneuvers. Oh, exceptional internal damage. Come on! Oh no. Stuff's breaking. My hull integrity is at 4%, 3%. Experience beige. I don't know what to do about the damn... Ready to engage. Uh, right. Caustic damage, like how do you, how are you supposed to deal with that? Frameshift anomaly. Are they stopping me from... Okay. I think I'm gonna blow up in hyperspace. Oh man. Does anyone know what to do about caustic damage? 
It's not fair. Ah. Nothing chiller than the cold death of space. Taking damage. Yeah, I know. Oh, Eject. there it goes. Eject. Eject. Well, I tried. I, I tried so hard. I got so far. And in the end, it was bollocks. He's dead, John. <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh, that one wasn't doubled. Something went right. Oh, no. Mickey Becker McIntyre is, is incapacitated. Oh, no, and I lost 61 limpets and some cartographic data. Okay, great. How much is that going to cost me? Uh, wow, 5 million. 5 million. I mean, it's worth it, because otherwise I'll lose that ship. Get free ship. No, no, no. I'm rebuying. Yeah. Good thing there's insurance, eh? <laughs> so second stream, ED stream in a row when we die. It is, it is, it is a tradition at this point. So you know, I don't really care about this crew. Uh, I mean, fine. I'll take him back. Whatever. I should have launched the fighter. I forgot about the fighter. Let's just let's just do it. Maybe we should stick to mining. It's a lot safer. Spent all that money on the damn Bargoid killing stuff. <laughs> okay. I'm somewhere. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> How am I now? Okay. Right. Uh Yeah. I don't think I'm cut out for thought th fighting th thargoids. They're, they're scary. What kind of base is this? Where am I? Is this a player thing? Like a like a carrier? Yeah. I'm at a fleet carrier. That's weird. So the fleet carriers are like for the players who have unbelievable amounts of wealth, they can buy their own carriers and stick them wherever they like. It's ridiculous. Huge. Look at this thing. It's crazy. Look at it. Look how many bloody landing pads it's got. It's a it's just, well, it's a carrier, makes sense. But yeah. Oh, this is a nice close up look at it. There we go. Yeah. Look how big this bastard is. It's long too. Yeah. Alright. Well. Uh, what's happening? Oh. Nope, that's the wrong... There we go. <laughs> uh. Yeah, this guy... It just feels really inaccessible. You know what I mean? Like, you try to do it, and you just get killed immediately. And... You know... Just doesn't even feel that satisfying. Like how are you supposed to how are you supposed to know how to get good at that? It's just you just yeah. Yeah, it's it's a shame how un, unimpressive that death was. <laughs> did you in fact experience beige? I, I, I did. I felt a distinct amount of beige uh, from that. It was very beigey. Uh, in case you don't know that's a Klingon word uh, established in um, in a weird um, VHS game, which is hilarious. If you look up the Star Trek Next Generation VHS game, it's just funny. You should just watch it. Um, I actually played it. Uh, so the the, the 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 Klingon who takes over the ship, and he's like, uh, "You." The crew member who is moving now. Speak! Experience beige! And so on. It was hilarious. Um, 
And it's the the same actor who plays Gowron, so he does the eyes thing. Which is great. I'm going to I'm gonna set a course for Poo Poo or something. What what was it called? Is this uh, Papongo, yeah, okay, let's go there. For some reason. Cause let's not let's not go to Thyro and Occupied Space. It's a silly place. It's just death. It's death and expensive death. Let's just go here for some reason. Yeah. So, I think you can learn Klingon. Uh, yes, you can. I started learning Klingon. Uh, thank you, Paraffin. I started learning Klingon uh, in Duolingo. Um, but it's really hard. There's two reasons I don't want to do it. One is because it's really hard just to get the sounds down, like huh and blah and all these weird noises. But also, um, it's uh, it's not used in Next Generation or Deep Space Nine. It's uh, they use they just use a different language. So there's the the language in the movies, and I think actually in the more modern Trek they use the actual Klingon constructed language that is actually consistent and everything. Whereas in Deep Space Nine, they use what Klingon linguists call Paramount Hop. Paramount language. Which basically they just made it up. Why is my... Why are my flight controls screwed up? What the hell is happening? Have I, got, have I, have I accidentally engaged opposite... Yeah, standard flight controls, please. Um... Disengaged. Yeah, uh, so it doesn't even help with learning, with understanding what's going on in, in the show because they don't use it. Now, I don't necessarily have a problem with there being more than one Klingon language because there's more than one human language, but this is not a learnable language because it's just made up on the spot. There are in fact two different versions of today is a good day to die. There is Jajuk Jaj Mev Jaj Kak and Mova Aki Rostak. They could not be more different. And they both mean the same thing. So, is there three languages? <laughs> uh, yeah. So the only way to really know what they what they say is um, is to. Am I even going the right way? What am I even doing now? I don't know. I'm bereft. The, the only way to learn what they say is just to look at the script and see what they supposedly said. You know. Which is quite fun. I, 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 um... I went through and, uh... Seriously, what? I'm not even setting a course for anything. Let's go, let's go here. Yeah. Um... I went through and, like, changed the subtitles in, uh, in an episode to actually say what they actually say in Way of the Warrior of Deep Space Nine. Uh, season, season four. Yeah. Someone, someone, rip it, someone, make me stop. I'm gonna keep doing it. Um, I am gonna finish up soon though. This was just kind of a test stream to test out the new layout and stuff, and to experience some some beige. Um, but definitely a bit of beige, and uh, and and to sc screw up the alerts, which was which was good. You know, I'm glad I'm glad we did that. Um, cause, cause, you know, so next time I'm not sure I'm going to start streaming at five on some day of the week. Sometimes that's the best I can promise now. Cause it just depends. I can't really predict when I'm going to have the energy to do it. So I'm just going to do it when I can. And yeah, if, if you're able to show up, that'd be great. We got the Paramount description recently, but you, you can't have both the English with captions and subtitles for the Klingon. Oh, well, that's stupid. That's really stupid. Why would they do it that way? Like, so you can either under so you can either have subtitles for the English speakers, or for the Klingons, and not both. <laughs> what the hell? Madness. Running gag on call, pretty expensive. Though. Yeah, I didn't mean it. I didn't intend it this way. I was just going to do some uh, asteroid mining, but then I'm like, well, you know. The Thargoids are trying to destroy a civilization. I should probably do something about it, but apparently I can't do anything about it because I'm rubbish. So never mind. I might, excuse me, I might try out VR 
on this, and I'll, I'll do that as a video, not as a stream, because because trying to stream with a thing on my face just seems a bit silly. <laughs> Excuse me. Ugh. So yeah, I'll just land here and then I'll finish up. Uh, yeah, and then we'll see what I'm doing next. I'm gonna try to try to play something uh, like long term, like maybe Subnautica Below Zero would be fun, or maybe Horizon Zero Dawn, or maybe s any one of another of a bunch of things. The, uh, the games I want to get around to. I end up doing this thing where I save a thing for a stream and then I never do the stream. So this time I'm going to do the stream. I can see the way you're good at trying to destroy it. Yeah, I mean, so... Like, even those those weapons I was using against them, th those are like experimental weapons that we didn't even have. There was a point where the you couldn't even hurt the Thargoids at all, even if you tried. So they've done this whole research project and everything just to, to be able to hurt them. But I think you basically need, like, the best chip in the game. Why does it say test up there? What the hell? What the hell is happening? What the hell is happening to my... Merpig the third. What the hell? Okay. Now... What? What is all this? Oh, this is... This is actual people. This is actual people typing shit, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Because this is an MMO for some fucking reason. I wish they'd made it a single player game so that you could actually like have a story that makes sense and feel like you have some impact and it's not just... I'm going to stop complaining about this game and I'm going to finish streaming because the ad's about to start and I don't want the ad to start. So thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you at 5pm GMT at some point, probably maybe next week, we'll see. Bye now, everyone. Bye. Thanks. Bye.